Hey guys, this is uh, X Spec X Ops X. Um, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a Pinnacle Studios Movie Box Plus, and this is going to be the complete setup. All right. Okay. So, first of all, you're going to need all this stuff. So first. You've got your double-sided AV cables. Gonna need those. The USB. This comes with the uh, the Pinnacle Movie Box, and I think these do too. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, then these you're gonna have to go get. They are splitters. You need three of them, and they have two like of these kind, and then one of these kind. You need to get ones like that. And you need three of them. And then, of course, you're going to need the little thingy. And your AV cables for your Xbox. Alright. So now, let's get to the point. So. First, let's get... First of all, before all of this is done, you need to do... You need to put the uh, actual software on your computer. So that'll be that disk. So put that on your computer first. And... Anyway, um, alright, so let's go. Um, let's start with the USB. And the USB is going to go on the output side. And you're going to plug it in. Make sure it's secure. It should look like that. And that goes to your computer. You can use whatever computer you wish. I'm pretty sure. I'm using a PC, but I'm sure you can probably use Mac, because Macs are awesome like that. Okay, so, now, here's where the splitters come in. Okay, now remember, I'd suggest that you, as you plug in the splitters, see that one in the red one? That you go ahead and put a red input cable from your Xbox in there, so you know that that's red. Okay, so like that. So then you know that one's red, because then you can't see what color it is. So you'll have to end up taking them out to see what color it is if you don't do this. So there's a white. And I'm going to put a white cable in the white. And then there's a yellow. And I'll show you in a second. And I'm going to put the yellow in the yellow. Okay. So that's like that. You got one coming off of each. Now double-sided AV cable. You're going to do the same thing, plug in the same thing, just like that one. So I'm going to get this all, I'll try to get this all. Alright, so that there. And these are kind of fidgety. So there. That's how it should look. It's a mess of cords, but it it's, it's fine. And then you have the other end. Now, this other end is going to go into the back of your TV, which is over there. And then, so I'll do that real quick. So, um, here. Alright, and uh, for you people who are awesome enough to use Turtle Beaches, like I do, um, those can also be used while you're using this setup. And let me get these, I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Okay, so basically, I'm sure you can probably do this the other way, but I, my personal way, 
And this is the way I know it works. I'm not sure if the other way works, but let's just go with the way I know it works. Basically, just go back to your little box thing with all your little plugins. And the ones that are the Xbox plugins, they go into the box thing. Just put the Turtle Beaches in there. So, like, I'll show you in just a second. Oh, that's the wrong one. Um, your Xbox plugin, so for say that red one goes into your Turtle Beach plugin, the red, the red one, then back into where it was. So same thing. And then same with the white. So I'm going to show you that. So there's that. So now your Turtle Beach is a function. And yes, they do work. Okay, so they're going to work. And you still do the same thing. Plug in your USB to your Xbox. So it's it's if you already know how to work your turtle beaches, then you're good. Okay, so push that back nice and neat right there. Now, I'm going to have to turn on my TV and my Xbox. And my Xbox isn't turning on. Hold on one second. Ah, power cords. Ugh, annoying. Now, now it's turn on. There we go. Green lights. Green lights are always good. I love the green light. I've had the red ring twice, and it sucks. So you don't ever want to get the red ring. All right. So now, this is my computer, and make sure that you've installed the software. I cannot stress that enough because this is not going to be able to do. So you're going to click on Pinnacle Studio 14, which is right there, and I've clicked on it. It's going to start loading, and mine's a trial version because you can't find the uh, disc right now. It's uh, It comes with the uh, Pinnacle Studios box. I just don't have it right now because my friend has it. So, yeah. So, eventually it'll load. So, here we go. We're loaded. Now, it's going to show me suit so open to. Right, there we go. And you're going to go over to the corner and it's going to say import. So click import. Let me get rid of this real quick. Um, click import right here. Import. It's in the corner. You can see it over there. And it's going to pop up this little screen. Look like this. And make sure you set this right here, Pinnacle Zang Video Composite right there um, and then um, file name make sure before you start the video that you change the file name so it's not going to be saved it's the same thing every time because that can be irritating but just make sure you change that you don't have to but it helps if you do to organize anyway but now you see what's on my screen here is the same as on my TV screen so now you are up and running and basically, just to start the capture, you're going to have to click Start Capture, and it will take a minute. I'm not going to do it yet. But you click it, and it takes a minute or so. Not literally a minute, but it takes a, it takes a little while. And But it will start ca capturing the uh, game footage. But just give it a second, because it takes a little bit. It's kind of laggy. Um, but, yeah, and um, over here, you can see Import 2. You can change where you want it to import to, so like for say you made a file on your desktop and, and you want it just to put those videos in there, you can go over there and uh, click right there. See, I've already got it going to a certain folder. So you can click there and you can go to browse or something and you click on that folder on your desktop that you want it to go to and then it'll save all your videos there. So it keeps it all organized and nifty and stuff. And, as you can see, these videos take up a lot of space. But, um, I'd suggest getting an external hard drive and putting them on there, because that'll keep your computer from getting cluttered. But also, upload your videos and then delete them if you, if you want, because that, you need to save space on your computer. Or it'll get slow. So anyway, um, that's pretty much the basic setup, and, uh, it's a mess of course as you can see and lights and stuff but it's quite simple it's just you just need to know how um so now you know how so now it's going to be really simple to set up and uh these little splitter things they aren't very much at all they they only cost like four dollars each so it's not that bad 
But, um, the Pinnacle Movie Box is the, probably the big thing. But, um, I'm assuming that you already have that if you're watching this video. But if you don't, then I'm not really sure where you get it. But I'm sure you could get it on eBay or, or um, Amazon or something like that. I mean, just Google it. it you'll find one. Um, but, um, and there's also different kinds you can use, like, this pin, this is a Pinnacle movie box, you could get, like, a Dazzle, and it'd be set up the same way, it's just the same thing, um, except the USB is actually, you can't take it out of the Dazzle, but, um, it'll be, it'll be the same setup, and maybe different editing software, but same setup. Anyway, um, so, that's it, and... Have fun, and uh, I am ready for Black Ops. I don't know if you are, but um, Black Ops is gonna be great. And um, when it comes out, Tuesday, when I go get it Tuesday after school, I am going to put a video of Black Ops on YouTube because it's awesome. And uh, this video is gonna take forever to upload, so um, I'm gonna have to cut it off now. All right, bye.